What is up everybody? Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to clone your hard drive so you can install a hard drive into your laptop. In this case it can be a Windows 10. So how to clone your Windows 10 hard drive. I'm installing a solid state drive. We got a bunch of computers here. This is the Mac if you guys are interested in Mac stuff. I've done some tutorial videos on the channel for that. But today's video installing a solid state drive on this windows so we did it on the mac and we did a time machine backup uh, to our external hard drive but on the windows uh, we're going to do it a little bit different so the way i'm going to do it is i downloaded this free program for home use so i will link this for you guys you guys can download it as well it's called and hopefully i don't botch the pronunciation macrium reflect i believe so you download this program and kind of go just go through all the disclaimer stuff once we get that installed uh, i have an external hard drive adapter so i'm going to hook up that up to this so we can plug it into our usb port then we can get to this program and start using it so let me hook up our hard drives brand new in the package and then we'll move on to the next step so now that we've got our hard drive out of the package um you're gonna need an adapter as such i have the power supply here if needed usually you only need the power supply if you have the larger kind of old school hard drive the one that's significantly larger but um, if need be we have the power supply available but usually you can get away with these cheaper ones that you see that just have a usb cable on the end and you simply plug it in to your hard drive and then you're going to plug it into the usb on your computer and it should pop up over here so i'm gonna go ahead and just sign up for this it's asking you whether it's home or commercial use and all that good stuff so i guess we gotta do this registration code thing so let me just go ahead and jump through all this stuff and then i'll show you guys how to use it so once this installs you're gonna see up here your main disk is gonna come up so i've got a thousand gigabyte but i'm gonna replace it with a 500 gigabyte so thousand gigabytes one terabyte you guys know what i'm talking about and um, I'm not using the full space of it. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to clone it to this drive. So you're gonna see clone this disc. We're gonna click on this and it's gonna say select disc to clone to. And obviously we're gonna choose this one. Okay, so I had to figure out how to use this program because it's a little bit confusing. It has a bunch of check boxes on it. So you just assume you click all these check boxes for your different partitions on the main drive and then you would click next. But I had to research this quickly. You actually have to drag them down here. And since, like I said, I'm going from one terabyte to a 500 uh, gigabyte, it has to resize um, the main portion or partition, this this one here, so the primary, cause this has 930 gigabytes, this partition. So I'll just drag them all down here. Once you get them all down, as you can see there, everything's here and then we can click next. So once you click next, it's gonna say, add a schedule if you wish to run this in the future, otherwise click next, we're gonna do it now. Uh, it says all of this stuff here, it's just telling us what we are and we're gonna say finish. Run this backup now, save backup and schedules as XML, enter a name for this backup definition, and we're just gonna say okay. So here she goes. So we're gonna go ahead and let this run and then uh, we should be able to move on to the fun stuff. So it's just running through this. This is probably gonna take some hours, you guys, uh, since this hard drive inside the PC is very slow, which is the reason why we're replacing it. So we're gonna probably let this run overnight and then we'll come back when it's done. All right, so after letting this run for a while, it says clone completed in three hours. So it took me about three hours to do a few hundred uh, gigabytes. I think it was only like 200 and something. It wasn't too, too crazy. So that's it. So everything's done. I can close this out. And now I can work on the physical swap of putting it into this PC. Okay, so I just took apart the computer. If you guys want a more detailed video on how to take apart this specific computer, I'll link this above here. But we're gonna swap out our hard drive. There's our traditional hard drive. We're gonna just swap it out with the new SanDisk solid state and uh, we'll fire it back up. So here we go with the new hard drive. We've got it installed. We're gonna go ahead and boot it up. So of course, Windows 10, it decides it wants to work on its updates now. So can't show you the true first boot up, but it is working obviously. Okay, so it's back up and running. I'm just gonna go ahead and log in with my password. And here we go. 
back up and alive. All right guys, so the computer is now all working. We booted it up after doing the transfer, everything works. So that's gonna be it. If you guys are curious how to take apart the computer, if you happen to have the same one, I will link that above here or down in the description below so you guys can check out that video that's separate on how to actually do the physical change of the hard drive itself. But if you guys found this helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up for me. It does help and support the channel. Also hit that subscribe button and uh, check out the other videos that are already on the channel. We've got a lot of other technical videos. Like I said, we've already done it on the Mac and done the solid state conversion on that. And we have a bunch of other stuff too, security cameras and all sorts of stuff. So check out the other videos and we'll see you guys on the next one.